The American Rescue Plan includes millions of dollars for our local governments. In Florida, Escambia County is coming up with a plan to spend the $62 million it will receive. Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola. And Cody, does this mean more money to help families as we saw with the CARES Act? Well, Roseanne, that will be up to the Board of Commissioners. On top of those $1,400 direct payments, some county leaders here say that they should be offering more help to families that have struggled over the past year. I think every family has had some type of increase uh, due to COVID because if their kids were at home, there was more food, there was more utilities. You know, there were a lot of expenses that folks um, incurred at home. Escambia County Administrator Janice Gilly says the $62 million from the American Rescue Plan can be spent any way they want except lobbying. Just like the $57 million they got from the CARES Act, the county could allow residents to apply for assistance and get direct payments. But Gilly says they may offer less money this time. Certainly, I would not recommend the large amount that we did for the folks that were under $45,000 a year um, because I think that this would be more of just a you know, an opportunity to help folks uh, make up those differences and some of those expenses. Another idea is to use the money to balance some budgets. It does appear that it absolutely could help us with um, offsetting any of our expenses in public safety. Um, and they also even provide what they call premium pay, which is an opportunity to support like EMS, EMT. I would say also our corrections medical staff, and the county will get about 30 million within the next month or two. Then they will have to wait at least a year before they get the other 30 million. Reporting live in Pensacola, I'm Cody Long to be KRG News 5.